Hey guys, welcome to Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook. Today we'll be drawing this cute little sweater. I'm going to be drawing on top of this quick sketch just so that I have the right proportions. So grab your drawing tool and let's get started. So to begin our sweater, I'm going to start at the neck opening. And the shape of this is basically a stretched out, really shallow U. And all we're going to be doing is making this part a little bit wider than where the seams from the sleeves and the body of the sweater meet. So go ahead and draw a shallow U and it's facing slightly up towards the left corner. Then from one side you're going to draw a small curve as if you're coming down towards the bottom of the page and this is the outside edge of your first sleeve. Then go ahead and draw a little horizontal line just coming in towards the body of your sweater. You'll have something that looks like the letter L and then you're going to start to curve back up towards the top of your sweater. So I've left quite a big space. Then come around to the right side and we'll do the opposite curve, this time curving sort of down towards that right corner. And what we're going to have here now is that backwards L shape as we make the horizontal line and then start to curve back up in towards the top of your sweater. So what you should notice is that where you've created the inside edge of your sleeves, those lines are just a little bit narrower than the opening at the top of your sweater. Now to create the body, you're just going to come down from the inside edge of your sleeve towards the bottom of your page. And of course you can make your sweater as big or as boxy as you like. Mine's I wouldn't say it's super narrow, but it's also not super boxy. But we're just basically making a rectangular shape and then closing it off across the bottom. Next, we're just going to finish off the sleeves. So if you feel like the arms on your sweater look way too long, then you can do the cuff just inside. And if they don't look long enough, then you can do like I'm going to. And I'm just going to extend my sleeves by drawing the cuff off the bottom. So I'm going to start by just drawing a small horizontal line above the bottom edge of my sleeve and then from there we're going to just draw in two lines coming from each side of the sleeve and they're going to get slightly narrower at the bottom. So it's really subtle, almost you could almost get away with just not even making them more narrow at all. And then go ahead and just draw in some lines to give some texture and as you come across the cuff of the sleeve you're going to start to angle those lines sort of towards a center point. And what this will do is it'll give your uh, cuff the illusion of some dimension, right? So that it'll seem like you could actually grab in behind the sweater. So do the same thing on both sides. Now I also want to add a little bit of a collar to my sweater. So I'm going to come up and do a very similar shape. So I'm just going to start by drawing a really thin starting point by just making a little curved line that's just a little bit above what we have currently as the opening of our sweater. From the outside edges of the collar, I'm just going to draw two small parallel lines. So what it'll look like is just the ends of a rectangle and you can make these as tall as you want your collar to be. Then to create sort of that nice loose plushy look, I'm just going to work a series of small rectangles all the way across the opening of my sweater. So to create a little more visual interest and make it look like fabric, I'm trying not to have them have a really seamless top edge I want the rectangles to kind of look like they're uneven. Alright now it's time to add in all of our knitted details. So to start I'm going to work the top part of my sweater and I'm just going to draw from approximately the shoulder space all the way across the center and follow that same curve that we made for the neckline. And then for my first little knitted motif, I'm going to do some snowflakes. So what I'm going to start off with is just making a T or a cross shape. So just two lines that are intersecting. 
and then on those lines you can just make a bunch of little v's going up to the top and those are sort of the extra little fragments of the snowflake so when you're drawing them you just want to start changing the angles of your snowflakes so that they are your vertical line is always coming down towards that bottom curve and then that'll give that illusion again that the sweater has some shape and roundness to it also if you feel like you have space in your snowflakes go ahead and make a little x and you can either add more v's i don't really have room for that so i'm just going to draw the x and then some little dots right at the very end okay so just finishing up here and just looking at my sweater i think i'm going to fit about four of these snowflake patterns across this section of my sweater Okay, when we're done with our snowflakes, then we're just going to keep working our way down the body of the sweater. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw in a curved line. So just following that same curve, just a little bit beneath this first panel. And now I'm going to draw a second line and I want it to be about the same thickness as the one I just drew. Again, following that curve all the way across the sweater. So what I'm going to be doing now is creating a little bit of an S pattern using these two lines. So in the first space, I'm just going to do a series of little backward C's and you want to keep them about equally distanced apart. And then on this bottom line, I'm going to just do C's facing the regular way. And what you want to aim for is that the top of those C's come right off the bottom of the other ones. So you kind of get that wavy look or they almost look like really bizarre stretched out S's. All right, for my next panel, I'm actually going to come right at the seam between the sleeve and the body of the sweater. And I'm just going to draw, again, you wanna keep a little bit of that curve going, but it might be a little less noticeable than up near your collar. And I'm gonna make this one like a pretty decent sized rectangle here. Because it's like one of those winter sweaters, I'm just gonna do simple little Christmas tree motifs here. So to do that, you're gonna draw a small triangle and then right underneath, you're gonna draw just a slightly bigger one. And again, what you want to do is sort of angle your trees so that they follow whatever curve your panel here has in its top and bottom line. Now, as you could tell from the thumbnail, we're going to put a face on our sweater. So what I'm going to do is leave a big section in the middle and then come down towards the bottom and just draw a really slight curved line, this time following the bottom edge of your sweater. And then we're going to create sort of a well, I guess it would depend on how you decide to color it after, but I'm basically going to create a little bit of a plaid or flannel kind of panel here. So divide that section in um, into however many sections you want. And then as we go and do our perpendicular or our vertical lines, what I'm going to do is put two close together and then one line and then just keep alternating two lines, one line, two lines, one line all the way across. So the only area of the sweater where I'm not going to put any sort of decorative details is in that center space for the face. So all the way up the sleeves and across that little opening there in the body, I'm just going to draw some little circles um, just so that it's not so repetitive and predictable. What I like to do is have some of my circles not be full circles so they're coming off of other panels or off of the outside edges of your sleeves or whatnot. So you go ahead and just fill that in however many you want. You can make them different sizes. Just go ahead and have fun with it. Okay. 
And before we get to the face, I'm going to draw out the little spool of yarn that was used to make this a lovely festive sweater. So coming off my left sleeve, I'm just going to draw a little curved line. And you can make your line however long you want. And once you've decided how long you want, at the very top, you're just going to create a circle. Then from wherever you feel, you're going to draw a curve. So following one of those edges of your circle, draw a curve through the center and then just draw a bunch of similar curved lines all the way towards the edge of that circle. Now you can start on the inside and draw a perpendicular curve and then once again just fill in with little lines all the way down towards the outer edge of your circle and then finally fill in that third section with curved lines that are following the last curve of your original ball here for the yarn. I'm not sure why but I think we're going to have sort of like a cranky sweater. So let's draw some little squinty eyes by just making two V's with the points facing towards each other or the center of the face. Then draw in two ovals, one under each eye for some little cheeks. And then for a little mouth, I'm going to just make a little rectangle that comes right in between the eyes and the cheeks. And add in just a little curve across the bottom for the little tongue. And then I'll just color in the rest of the mouth. And there is our cute little sweater, guys. Thank you so much for drawing with me today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please share, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time for another Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook, keep making art and keep smiling.